Hey guys, I'm in Brazil. Believe it or not, it's not just natives and uh, <laughs> flora, forest. Uh, the reality is Brazil has great uh, restaurants. I'm here in Sao Paulo, the third largest city in the world. And I know that uh, we as Americans sometimes, we travel, we get sick, and destroy your vacation. So let's talk a little bit about something very simple. What to order in a restaurant. I know that we change a new leaf, a new, open a new chapter, that we want to be slim. It's time for Americans to also live what we preach and be slim. The, the, the diet, which is a style, is paleo, paleo. Okay, let's talk about what to order. It is very, very, very simple. Let's start with alcohol. alcohol. I was a chemist before uh, I became a surgeon. As you guys know, I have a couple diplomas from Harvard. Um, alcohol stores uh, calories in a sh shockingly efficient manner. A. B. Alcohol, most alcohols are replete with estrogen. Where from? The companies use barley and other natural sources which are rich in phytoestrogen. So you go to all the beaches today and you see guys with not pectorals. Pectoral, look, this is pectoral. <laughs> this is a pectoral. This is called pectoral. <laughs> pectoral muscle. I'm talking. Tits. Gynaco nasty. Okay? So uh, you see men in all the beaches of the world with female breasts. Go ahead and say it. What the fuck? And I'm a plastic surgeon. I hate sausage. I'm sorry to be blunt, but I operate a lot of microphallus. Microphallus is epidemic. It can get so bad that sometimes a person just has a hole in his abdomen and I have to make a penis from the antibrachial nerves, the ulnar bone, and coverage, the neo-urethra, from the skin from your butt. Please, you guys, please. Alcohol, in some way, lots of calories, it will feminize you. It will feminize you and it'll put a breast cancer in your wife's breast. Let's move on. Water with gas. Okay, uh, water uh, with gas is very, very simple. What is it that is that the fire extinguisher at the end of that restaurant, what is in there? What's in that red fire extinguisher? CO2. <laughs> what is inside of water with gas? CO2. <laughs> How does it work? When you throw a CO2 in powder form on the fire, it sucks the oxygen. It's the usual triad of fire. One of them is oxygen. You take out the oxygen from the triangle of fire and the fire dies. So when you drink, do an experiment if you think I'm crazy. Drink water with gas, the sparkling water, and I want you to immediately remember your mom's telephone number. You won't be able to. You won't be able to. It sucks all the oxygen out of your brain. So, water with gas, if you want to be stupid, no. <laughs> uh, when is the only exception to drink beer or water with gas? When you're in a place where the water is so dirty that the pH of the water with gas, which is three, or the cleanliness of alcohol is more important than the bacteria in the water. If you're in a very dirty place, then we go ahead and order alcohol or we order gas, okay? But usually we do not. So gas water eliminate. We order regular water. Why not fruit juices? So fruit juices are industrialized. You might as well go to a laboratory, get your esters, <laughs> your food coloring. Because literally when I was in college, I could make all the flavors from chemicals. So Eliminate industrialized drinks, of course. I'll give you a simple rule. When you see in a bottle of soda 30 milligrams of sugar, it means eight spoonfuls of sugar. I'll repeat that. I'll give you something simpler. 40 milligrams of sugar in the bottle means 10 spoons with sugar. Ten. All right. We don't want to do that. So let's talk about juices. Say you're in the freaking Amazon. Look, we are near the Amazon here. 
and you cut the fruit from the tree and you make the actual juice right in front of you. Does it fatten you? Yes. Why? Because the enzyme which broke that fructose is in the husk of the fruit. All fruit juices fatten. I repeat that. All fruit juices fatten. Okay? So, in summary, the best thing to order is water. Ice on the side. This is one of the top restaurants here in Sao Paulo. But the ice is processed elsewhere. And the companies that pro process it are many times not scrupulous. The bacteria is in the ice. In any place in the world, never order ice. So the secret then is lemon. Why? It kills the bad bacteria in your stomach, which is making you bloated. <laughs> Kill the bad bacteria in your stomach and water. And until next time, let's take up a care of our health. America is in a new generation, an upbeat generation, uh, and uh, let's teach the world how we correct, okay? I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you.